Hey, Ron Tio here. In this video, I want to show you the differences between the Nano Texture Glass on the iPad Pro versus the Matte Glass on the Wacom Moving Pad Pro 14. And I have my phone there with an anti-reflective screen protector just to show you how much reflections you can expect on a glossy display. So this is the Nano Texture Glass which is an optional purchase. In case you don't know, you have to upgrade the storage from 256 gigs to one terabyte before you are presented with the option to buy the nano texture glass. So this is like significantly more expensive compared to the Wacom option, the Wacom tablet. So at this angle, you can see the diffuse reflection and the artwork is still bright enough or the display is still bright enough for the artwork to show through the diffuse reflections and this is not even at maximum brightness so if i increase the brightness you can see the artwork even more clearly i cannot see the reflection of my window at all you can see this glossy edge here uh, that's the reflection of my window so this is actually pretty effective anti-glare let me reduce the brightness slightly Okay, so on the Wacom tablet, this is also matte textured and this also has anti-glare. But from what I can see, it seems like there is more white haze from the diffuse reflection. I mean, if you compare these two side by side, compare this versus this. Can you see that? So it seems like there is more glare here due to the extra white haze and this is also not at maximum brightness so let me increase this all the way up so at maximum brightness yes the display is brighter and you are able to see the artwork more clearly but there is still uh, more white haze from the diffuse reflection more diffuse reflection on the Wacom and this is on the nano texture glass now this is not going to matter if you are using the tablets mostly indoors but if you are using the tablets outdoors this is going to give you a bit more glare and this will affect contrast more noticeably and also the display is up to 900 nits this ipad pro is up to 1000 nits so that will also affect the contrast when you're working outdoors and obviously if you are looking at the tablets from the front the visual quality is fantastic for both and the visual quality looks identical to me and just for comparison purposes now I have the nano texture glass on the left and the glossy glass on the right so whether to get the nano texture glass really depends on how much you hate reflections and I personally hate reflections but as you can see, colors do look more vibrant on the glossy glass and the contrast does look better because there is no diffuse reflection that goes over the whole display but you can see areas of reflections instead. Oh, by the way, this video that you're watching is actually just a short segment of a much longer comparison video that I will publish soon that compares the M5 iPad Pro with the Samsung Tab S11 Ultra with the Wacom Moving Pad Pro 14. And now let's talk about the tactile drawing experience you can expect starting with the nano texture glass on the iPad Pro and I'm going to let you hear the difference. The Apple Pencil Pro is definitely quite smooth on the nano texture glass, but I am still able to get good control over the pen. Now, sometimes I can hear some sound, but sometimes I don't hear any sound. I think that's got to do with uh, some areas of the pen tip, which is more worn out, which is rougher. So when drawing with the rougher part, I can hear the sound, but with the smoother part, on the nano glass, I can't hear anything. This is the tapping sound. And now let's look at the moving pad Pro 14 and I will test all the three 
different pen nibs that are provided. I'll start with the default pen nib, which is the gray one with the black stem. From what I can feel and hear, it seems like there is slightly more texture on the Wacom's matte glass surface. So now I'm going to use these two pens on the Wacom tablet. You can clearly hear the extra texture with the Wacom pen on the Wacom display. So maybe this could be due to the Apple Pencil tip being smoother. So now let's switch over to the iPad Pro. So I've tested these two pens on both displays and it seems like the Wacom pen tip has more texture and the Wacom display also has more texture. Next, let's replace this default pen tip with this other one, which is the light gray one. So this pen tip seems to be smoother compared to the default one which has slightly more texture and when drawing it makes slightly more sound. And this is the third pen tip provided. It's all black. So let's test this. From my imprecise unscientific test, I can say that this light gray pen tip is smoother compared to the standard one and this full black one has more texture compared to the standard one and now i'm going to let you hear the difference with all the three one after another starting with the default one then the smooth and then the rough So it's pretty clear to me that the Wacom Pen has more texture compared to the Apple Pencil Pro and the Wacom Matte Glass also has more texture compared to the Apple Nano Texture Glass.